Hello, welcome back to the Prepper Life channel. That's right, I'm back to do my once in a very blue moon review on something that hopefully you find useful. But that's kind of how it works here. Uh, I apologize, you know, my last few videos I was using my old uh, Microsoft, um, what the heck's it called? Microsoft Surface. And the thing was like seven years old, and it's just the video quality is not the best. So I'm trying something new here. I'm using my super fancy whiz bang iPhone XS Max. So hopefully, hopefully things are a bit more clear and you can see things better. Uh, so I appreciate you being here with me. I know it's been a while. I do plan, I know I say this every time, but I do plan on doing some more, some more videos and, and picking up speed on this. Uh, I, I've been busy, but I am retired now, so I actually have time on my hands. But as you can probably hear way off in the background, I have small children, so the chances, you know, the, the, the ability of me to have time where it's not extremely noisy in the background is, is slim. But I'm working on it. I'm getting better at it. So anyway, today we're talking about EDC lights. Of course, this is the Prepper Life channel, so we're talking about budget EDC lights, meaning inexpensive. Uh, you know, when people say budget, oh, budget this, budget that, a lot of times, you know, a budget flashlight is 100 bucks for other channels. That is not the case for me. Not here at the, at the Prepper Life channel. We don't do that. When I say budget, I mean actual budget. So in any case, um, we will be dealing with the big, the small, the good, the bad, and the ugly. So anyway, first off, let's uh, got to go with whatever my EDC is that I'm carrying today. What do I got on me? Cool stuff. Bam. That is the Trident. The Estesog Trident. Great knife. Super lightweight for its size. And uh, I, I, like I said, I'm a, I'm a father of very small children, like, you know, preschool age children. So it's a good knife because it has this lock right here. So you can unlock it. It has two locks, as a matter of fact. Um, so I can put the lock on when it's shut. Very, very strong assisted spring on this thing. I can put the lock on when it's shut and it won't open. So if it's for some weird reason, which I can't imagine it would because the clip is so tight on this thing, it fell out of my pocket and one of the, the small children got a handle on it, they, would, they wouldn't be able to get it open. Well, we'll leave it out. Everybody likes looking at this, this lovely stuff. So what else I got on me? Um, my watch today is a Yasuya. It's a Japanese name, but I'm not so sure if it's Japanese. Again, budget watch. Look, you can see the, uh, the chronograph works. Of course, not when I'm trying. There it goes. The chronograph works on it. It has a chronograph. Um, it keeps time. So far, so good. I just got it a couple months ago. But I got it because it's cheap and it matches many of my earth tone outfits that I like to wear. Uh, if you're not a watch person, you got to become a watch person. It becomes so useful and it becomes a must. Anyway, I believe this was $13. Uh, what else I got? Ah, what weapon am I carrying today? Ooh, the P238. That is a beauty, and yes, it is loaded because I'm carrying it. Although, because I have children and I'm home, you will not see one in the chamber. It's not like I need to pull it out and have instant firing capabilities if something was to go wrong or if some jerk-off was to show up in my house and cause problems. And then for a smaller knife, this is when I don't want to use this thing to open up boxes and packages. I probably use this Sheffield a lot more. I, matter of fact, I definitely use this Sheffield a lot more. And then you got, I got my regular stuff, the phones. Uh, oh, here we go. Here we go. My favorite of all time, the Leatherman Juice. If you don't have a Leatherman Juice, go get one. They're not exactly cheap, <laughs> but my God, is that thing awesome. And I use it so, so much. I'm home, and I'm not running around doing stuff, so this is pretty much my EDC. I don't have my wallet on me. I'm using my phone right now. Um, so, yeah, that's what you're looking at. Cool, right? All right, let's get this stuff out of here. Let's, let's get this video going. So, we are doing, sorry about that. We are doing flashlights today. 
EDC flashlights. If you do not carry an EDC flashlight, you need to carry an EDC flashlight. It is, it's one of the crucial things that you need to carry, as a matter of fact, uh, for your EDC. If you're not carrying one, then you, you're, you're, you effed up. You need to carry one. So I wanted to start out, we're just going to go from biggest to smallest here. Uh, so they're really not in any particular order of, of how I like them or which ones I prefer or not. Um, sorry about that. Let me see if I can get that ugliness out of the background there. So anyway, this, I happened to pick up, you know, I bought a remote control car. I had a, a gift card to Best Buy that I got for Christmas or my birthday. I can't remember. I bought a remote control car, a really cool one there. It was super fast and it, it died on me within like the first week and I had gotten the insurance on it. So I returned it and they didn't carry the car anymore. So super bummed out. So I ended up getting another gift card, you know, store credit. And uh, this was one of my purchases I bought at Best Buy. Of course, at Best Buy, it was at the, the high end of the price spectrum. But this is a uh, Motorola MR550. This is pretty big as far as EDC goes. So you're not going to see me carrying this unless I know that I'm going to need a big hefty light. But you can clip it to the pocket and it's, you know, it's pretty comfortable. As a matter of fact, it uses, let me see up here it uses one of these big old 3.7 volt batteries i think it is yeah uh, 26 milliamp 3.7 an 18650 battery and it charges you can charge you know you can use one of those plug-in chargers for to charge the battery separately or you can actually charge it here with a micro usb um, which is how i charge it uh, the thing, the battery lasts forever on this thing once it's charged, and it's super bright. You get 1,100 lumens on the high setting. It has three different settings. You can never really see how bright flashlights are on, on a camera, so it's kind of hard to tell. That's the medium setting. It's the low setting. It's, I'm going to say the low setting is 300 lumens, maybe. Anywhere from 100. I can't tell. But the high setting is 1100. It's crazy powerful, this thing. It's not adjustable, so it has that sort of spotlight in the middle with a um, spotlight in the middle with a, uh, you know, kind of a nice bubble haze of light around it. Uh, so you're looking at 1100 lumens. I don't know what the other settings are on the lumens. This thing's big. You're not going to carry this thing around on a daily basis. Let's just be honest with ourselves. But I do use it outside in the yard when I go. I have a long driveway. It's like a 500 foot driveway. Well, no, 400 foot driveway. And uh, to get my mail, to get retrieve the trash cans in the dark. This is the one I bring with me. And uh, they're really they're really well priced for what you get. Uh, comes with a battery, and um, you're looking at 30 30 bucks on the low end, at Amazon or or uh, eBay, and 50 bucks. I think it was 50 bucks when I got it. So 30 to $50, pretty good flashlight. A little big for EDC, but it's doable. Uh, some of you guys like to go big. So that is a possibility. So we're going on size here. I got to bring out the J5 Tactical next. The J5 Tactical, it's an ugly flashlight. Not quite as big as this one. Um, but what's it weigh? You know what? I didn't even bust out, bust out the scale on these. Let's find out what these suckers weigh, man. Um, we have uh, Come on, scale. That is grams. We don't want grams. We want ounces. All right. That's not right. There's no way this thing weighs 12 ounces. Carrots. Sorry about this. All right. Here we go ounces five ounces it's not actually not that bad for how big it is um you know five ounces is like a big heavy pocket knife i guess you could say anyway the um i'll leave this here so you can look at it the j5 tactical three and a half ounces yeah three and a half ounces uh the j5 tactical is big and ugly but it does have some good points to it. Uh, number one, for, for flashlights that have a rear button, um, one of the big problems you run into, like for instance with this one, is that the button is protrudes and is easily set off 
when you when it's clipped to your pocket, if you bend over, your stomach hits it or whatever, your arm hits it, it's easily set off. And a lot of times you're not going to know when you're in. And most flashlights with the rear button have this problem. You're not going to know that set off. You go to you need your flashlight to go to use it, and it's dead. Uh, J5 Tactical, you don't have that issue. It's uh, you know it's protected. So as you can see, I can hit it, and it doesn't set it off. Whereas this one, for instance, you hit it, boom, it's on. That's a problem for me. In fact, it happens constantly. So I really can only use these other flashlights in like a front pocket. Uh, you know, if I'm wearing some tactical pants or something, I have one of those leg pockets. It works. Those, those will work fine on this. But this one will fit in your pocket. It has a really good clip, actually. The clip's really strong. It, this thing holds on tight. You won't set it off when you bend over. But God, is it big and ugly and heavy. Look at this thing. Uh, so J5 Tactical is... What is the J5? Uh, 100, uh, 300 lumens. Again, you can't tell. It does have a great beam when it's all the way back. You can focus it if you want, which is a nice feature. Uh, but I don't know. I don't really like focus beams because they move. They, I like something to be solid, man. If it, When you focus them, then you got it's moving around. and I prefer to have something that's just a solid piece. But that's me. You may be different. Uh, what's good about the J5 Tactical is that it, you could use it as a weapon. Because <laughs> it is pretty, pretty hefty. It weighs a lot. What are we looking at here with weight? What are we on? Ounces again. Three and a half ounces. Eh, it's a little heavy for an EDC light. For me. It might not be for you. Um, but boy, you could, really, you could really jam somebody up with this thing if you really wanted to. But generally, I'm carrying a firearm and a knife. Sometimes a tactical pen. I, the last thing I need is... Something like this. So this actually stays in my, uh, I have like a, a shoulder sling bag that I carry around to keep my stuff in. Uh, my man purse is like a tactical shoulder sling bag. I usually just keep this in there. That way I have a flashlight that I know is going to work. That's a good flashlight. And um, there it is, J5 Tactical. It is kind of cool look. I mean, it's ugly, but it's ugly in a good way. So the J5 Tactical, uh, 300 lumens. It's one setting. That's it. There's no, you don't click it again and get a lower and lower. It's just one setting, 300 lumens. And the good part about this is it's 12 to 15 bucks. The J5 Tactical is 12 to 15 bucks. So I do like it for that reason. All right. This one, this is a special flashlight. It uh, holds, a, holds a dear spot in my heart. It's the Phoenix RC05. Um, this one's a little pricier. Uh, it's the same. You get the same output as this. So your 300 lumens. It has a magnetic charger it comes with. It comes with the battery too. Let's see. Let's take a look in this thing. You can use a AA. Uh, maybe it didn't come with this battery. I can't remember. I think it did. You know, I don't know. I don't, yeah, it did. Phoenix. It came with the battery. So it comes with this three and three and a half volt, three point six volt battery, um, which really gives it a big boost. But you can drop a double A in here and it'll work. Uh, you just don't get uh, it; just doesn't last long. But it has a, a magnetic charger, or you know you can always take this thing out and, and charge it the old fashioned way. The clip is cool on this. The clip actually I, I reversed it. It came the other way. It was flipped this way. So when you clipped it to your pocket, it was the end, top was sticking out. I made it so that it would be deep carry. Uh, that way it wouldn't fall out of my pocket because this thing's pretty expensive. I think these run um, 50 bucks, $55, something like that. But it's worth it. Still, for me, I mean, I, I don't know if I'd call that budget, but it is. For what you get, it's a budget. I can't tell you. Oh, no, I can. So you get 300 lumens on the high setting. It feels like more than that. When I'm outside with this thing at night, this thing lights up the night. And then the low setting is five lumens. And then you have a 50 lumens, and then 150 lumens, and then 300 lumens. So you have a lot of settings, which is cool. Uh, I don't think... It does have a strobe. I can't remember how you do the strobe on this thing. Turn it off in one, two, three. Or you hold it. There it is. You've got to hold the button down for a long period of time. So there's a SOS strobe, as you can see. 
but it, you know, this would, this would be a pretty good light for, you know, if you want to blind someone at night with that strobe. Um, this kind of has the best of both worlds of being powerful like this. It has long battery life. Uh, it's, the charger is pretty cool that it comes with. Um, the, the recharging ability is a great feature. And you can see, did I bring a hat? I do have a hat. You can actually use this as a, a headlamp as well, which is super useful. I mean, I don't know why every EDC flashlight doesn't have that feature. It, they really should. And what's this puppy weigh? So we're looking at just over two ounces. Not bad. That's doable for me. Uh, I like to keep my, my pocket knives and my lights to, to, to around two ounces or less. As you can see, like, for instance, well, that's three and a half. But for, the, for a knife that size, that's really lightweight. Really lightweight. All my other knives this size, even my Spydercos are significantly heavier than that. This, should, I believe, is about two ounces. Not even an ounce. Never mind. Um, so, yeah, the Phoenix RC05 little pricey 55 bucks but you know what i really recommend this light it's a light you're gonna you're gonna really enjoy if you're someone like me again if you don't carry an everyday carry flashlight you effed up you need you need to you need to start doing it i use my oh well i'll just use my cell phone prepper life well then you're an idiot because then you're gonna burn your battery just number one your cell phone's not made to be a flashlight it's made to be a phone um the flashlight on your cell phone is a flash for taking pictures you do not get any kind of distance with it in the dark. It's a very spread out light. It, it, it makes a lousy flashlight, is my point. So, you know, you got to get off that. That, that, that. That's a BS excuse, especially with some of the lights I'm going to be showing. These are, these are my bigger lights. There's plenty of smaller lights you can use that are way better than the, than the flash on your phone. You know, and, and if you're in an emergency situation, you're going to need your phone battery to think about it. All right? Think about it. Anyway, moving on. We have the Ace Beam PT-10. This is the one I was showing earlier with the button in the back. Uh, the Ace Beam, uh, what's the, uh, 360 lumens. So it really has, it's a little low right now because I, I've, I use this around the house a lot. I don't carry this often because of the button problem. Although it is a fantastic flashlight. Uh, it's very, it's, it's a pen light, as you can see. It's pretty bright. Um... I thought there was, yeah, so there's multiple settings. You get 360 lumens, 30 lumens, and 3 lumens. There's 3 lumens. You can barely see it. 360, um, 30. So it's, it's bright. It's a bright light. It has a really, it's not adjustable. It has a really good spread. Uh, this is a great, if you can get, a, get past this button problem, like if you're carrying this in a front leg pocket of some cargo pants, fantastic light. Lasts forever. Battery lasts a long time. You know, these lower settings are really useful, especially if you're camping or if you're just looking for things in your car um, or if you're just kind of walking your way through. I have some wilderness next to my house. I don't need a big spotlight. I don't, I'm going to save my night vision. You can kind of just, it gives you 30 lumens is plenty just to walk through the woods and not run into things. Um, it's a good looking light. Uh, I highly recommend the AC or the, the Ace Beam PT-10. This runs 30 to 35 bucks. And again, it's worth it. And another good feature is that it uses, it uses, you know, regular old batteries. Um, two triple A's. I do like that. I like, I like, uh, I prefer lights that use regular batteries uh, over ones that use special batteries. But, you know, so all, you, you generally, they're easy to carry spares. Just, you don't need to carry spares with this thing. It lasts for a long time. <clears throat> 30, 35 bucks, something like that. Next is the Olight i3T EOS. The Olight i3T EOS is 180 lumens. Um, there's two settings? Yeah. So 180 lumens or 80 lumens. Again, you get this 80 lumens is perfect for, uh, it doesn't seem like much on camera, but it's perfect for, you know, looking for things and walking around. If you're in a tent, uh, it uses, I believe this uses a single AAA battery, which is really nice too. Yeah. Gotta love that. It's small. So 
it fits in your pocket nicely. And we didn't weigh this thing, did we? Hold on, let's 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 weigh the ace beam. One and a half ounces. Gotta love that. That's light. What's the OLED? I think it's a little more. No, nah, one a little bit less. Almost one and a half. So very similar in weight. It has the clip that I love. Again, you can put this on your hat. You can have yourself a headlamp on your hat. Um, otherwise, it, it carries pretty deep. You do have this problem, though, where it's not shielded back here. So if you lean over, bend over, if it's in your side pocket, you could set it off pretty easily, especially because it does sit proud a little bit of your pocket, much like this one does. You can see where the clip ends. It's going to stick out of the pocket a little bit. But, you know, again, if you want to put it in your leg pocket of your cargo pants, it's great. It'll work fine. Or you can just throw it in your pocket. It's small enough to where you don't really need to clip it. You can just drop it in your side pocket. It'll be fine. It won't go off. The button, you can press it to set it off, but it really requires a lot of pressure to set this thing off. Uh, this one, yeah, they're both pretty. This one's a lot of pressure, though. Uh, this one's a little big to just throw in your pocket, but it could be done. But the, uh, the Olight, Olight's a great company, man. They make great flashlights. They really do. I'm, I'm a big fan of Olight's. So... Get yourself an Olight. What is the Olight i3 TEOS cost? These are only 20 bucks. That's what I paid. 19 something for this. Um, I haven't set up a, an Amazon account where I can give you links. Uh, in the future, I'll, I'll do that. I do plan, by the way, for those of you who enjoy. Again, I do a video like once or twice a year. But it's always going to be a useful video. So if you're new to this channel, subscribe. And hit the uh, notification bell. Uh, it's not going to be often, but when I do a video, if you're a budget-minded prepper or, or EDC person, you're going to like my videos. They're going to be useful. And um, But that's going to change. Now that I've figured out how to get some free time, I'm actually going to set up a Patreon. It's going to be cheap, a dollar a month. And it's going to force me, because you guys are paying me, to do videos every week. And uh, I will take every dollar of that Patreon money will go towards buying gear to do budget gear to do reviews on. Anyway, good flashlight. Then we have the Jet Beam Jet 2 MK. This thing's pretty hardcore. It uses uh, it uses the CR123 style, that's what they're called, right? Yeah, CR123 batteries, which are, are really good as far as, you know, you get a lot of life out of this, this battery in this flashlight. They're not the cheapest batteries, but they're not too bad. You buy them online. You can order a pack of them, a big pack of them for cheap. It's This thing's a little chunky. It's kind of fat, but really it's... Whoa, sorry about that. Didn't mean to jack up my camera here. Apologize for my extreme professionalism here on the Prepper Life Network. It's about as chunky as the bottom part of this one is, is the J5, but it's pretty light. I mean, if, at least it feels light in the pocket. Yeah, just over one and a half ounces, 1.65. And the clip's pretty good. It holds it in place, real strong clip on it, and it's a twister, which I'm a big fan of twisters. I don't know. Um, I don't know what the, uh, the low setting is. That's the low setting. It has three settings. This thing is uber bright. It's 550 lumens on the high setting. I'm going to say five lumens on the low setting and probably 30 on the middle setting and then like extreme. So it's a really bright flashlight. <clears throat> uh, it's actually very well. I don't know what these are for, these screw ones, these threaded holes on the back. I guess that's for putting it on like a, a camera stand or something. I don't know. So you can use it as a spotlight, I guess. I mean, I can't imagine what else. It's used for all these flashlights, by the way. They all have the ability to put a tassel on them or a clip or something like that. Um, I don't know what else to say about this one. I really like this flashlight a lot. I, it's gotten a lot of use. You can tell how beat up the clip is that I've used it a lot. And um, uh, what did I pay for these? These are pretty cheap. 30, 30 to 35 bucks for a Jet Beam. Uh, Jet 2 MK. They make other flashlights I'd recommend looking into too. This one is fantastic. More my style. 
It's a twist, so the button doesn't set it off. The clip is strong. You're going to catch me wear, wearing something like this more than something like this just because of the system. I hated twist, twists at first because it felt annoying. Once you get used to it and you realize how, how much battery saving capability you have in a twist from it not going off X down, you're going you're gonna to understand where I'm coming from. Next, we have the Through Knight. The Through Knight TI3. It's the version 2, V2. They make a couple different versions of this. This is a similar, there's a lot of styles of flash. A lot of companies make styles of flashlight like this. This thing is awesome. I probably carry this more than anything. I wear cargo pants that have, um, you know, like up towards your belt, they have the, the, the rings on them to clip things to, like your keys or whatever. So I really, I carry these a lot, this flashlight a lot because of that. I can clip it on there and uh, it doesn't need to be in my pocket. It doesn't need to clip. It's small enough. It's not, even if it's bouncing around, it doesn't really bother me. To give you an idea of the weight with the clip, it's point, it's point 0.9. It's not even an ounce. Point 0.9 ounces. It uses a single AAA battery. Love that feature of it. Uh, simple, cheap, easy to find batteries. If you're a prepper, easy to find batteries. Common batteries are going to be very important. The through night is 120 lumens on high. I don't know what the other settings are. Very low. On low. I mean, it's got to be like three lumens. Uh, I'm going to say maybe half of the high settings. So probably 50, 60 lumens on the middle settings. So you have three settings. No strobe. But really awesome. I love the texture, the feel. It's, an, it's just it's a good looking little thing. And it's so cheap. I mean, 12, 15 bucks. Come on, man. You got to buy one of these. Uh, it's small enough. If you don't want to clip it, you can just throw it in your pocket, in your side pocket. It's not going to bother you. Just make sure it's turned far enough to where it's not going to get twisted up and turn on. It can happen, but it's really rare with these twist-on lights. And we get to my favorite little guy. This one I carry even more than the through night, I guess. I mean, maybe, I don't know. It's, I carry these about the same. But in a sense, I sort of like this O-Light even better. It's a little brighter. Believe it or not, it's 130 lumens. I guess it's one setting, isn't it? Yeah. No. As you, the more you turn it, the brighter it gets. That's right. It's bright. 130 lumens. This thing's 20 bucks. This is the O light. They have weird names. I one R E O S. The O light I one R E O S. What do I like about this light? Well, clearly it doesn't use a battery um, that you'd buy. It has an internal battery. And look at this. It's a micro USB plug-in. You just take the top off and plug it in with your micro USB. So anybody who's ever had an Android, you know, they did switch. Android did switch to type C. But I guarantee if you've ever had an Android even if you haven't, you probably have a couple cords for this thing. But it does come with one. So whatever, even if you don't, uh, it charges really fast. I think it's like a half hour this thing's ready. Uh, the charging charger it comes with has a little light on it so you know when it's done. But it charges really fast. This thing is awesome. Again, I just hang it off one of those clips on my pants. And uh, God, I love this thing. I really do. Fantastic flashlight. I mean, I don't know what else to say about it, except that you need one of these. You got to get these two. These, these will change your life. You can carry an EDC light, and it's, they're cheap, 12 bucks to 15 bucks. This one's always $20. I saw the cheapest I've seen is $18.99 on Amazon and eBay. So it's, expect to spend 20 bucks, worth every penny. No batteries needed. You just charge it. Um, for a prepper type mindset, maybe this is better because you can put a battery in it. Um, you know, if, if the world's falling apart and you're not going to have the ability to charge this thing. But if you don't have, uh, what's it called, solar chargers, then you're, as a prepper, you effed up there too. You need to get yourself a couple solar chargers. Very important. I don't mean those battery bank ones. Those things are useless. The, 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 the battery bank itself is not useless, but the, the solar charging... I think it took me two weeks of keeping mine on my dashboard of my car for it to charge almost fully. Yeah, forget about it. You should have a folding solar panel that charges things like this. 
Uh, this is small enough to where it will charge the hell out of this thing too. Um, so even for a prepper like me, this is a great, a great buy. So there you go. If you're a cheap bastard, a real cheap bastard, a real broke MFer, you can always get these, right? These ugly ass. I don't know how many lumens these are. Uh, your, your, your typical, your, your standard Dollar Tree dollar store is going to carry these. This is Defiant brand, which means I bought it at Home Depot in like a 10 pack. They had like they had these on clearance. There's 10 of them for like five bucks. So I bought it. You know, I throw one of these in each one of my toolboxes. One in the one in the electrical bo electrician box. One in the plumbing box. Um, one in the uh, demolition box. You know, I have one in every toolbox, and I have these all around the house. Each one of the kids has one of these in their room. My 12 year old son he understands the value of EDC, so he has some real flashlights. Um, but yeah, I mean you can always do this. There's no clip on it, which sucks. It's beefy and fat, ugly. This is not ugly. It's probably probably 50 lumens. That's enough. Uh, you can always buy these at the dollar store for a dollar. Problem with these cheap, and you know, you go on eBay and you can buy ones that sort of look like these. I guess they're AAA flashlights. They take two AAAs or one AAA. They're 50 to 80 lumens. Some of them are kind of bright. Some of them are even adjustable. You can pull the, the lens in and out and adjust them. And I have a bunch of those. As when I was first starting out as a prepper and, you know, as, as really getting my EDC shit together, I, I, I used to use them because I was super broke and I wanted to just have everything I needed right up front. And I did buy a bunch of those and I did use them. And uh, the problem is, like, you can shake this you barely hear anything moving, nothing moving. These cheap ones, where the batteries just rattle inside of them, and it, and it causes problems. Even those, even the small ones I'm talking about, the Elfland is one of the brands. There's a couple no-name brands, but you can literally buy them like for a dollar ninety-nine. You can buy ten of them for ten bucks. Um, if you're super broke, man, like super duper broke, uh, go on eBay and buy one of those. Free shipping. Um, I'm not even. Gonna, I didn't even bring it. And, and, and filthy up this video with one of those flashlights. I don't recommend it. I mean, if you can buy one of these for 12 bucks or even a J5 for 12, 15 bucks or uh, an Olight i3T for whatever these are, 20 bucks, 15 bucks, 20 bucks. Don't waste your time with those cheap, sh shitty lights, man. Just buy something that's decent and uh, you'll, you'll, you'll be glad you did because those cheap ones that you see on eBay and on Amazon eventually they always have problems. The batteries shake around in them. You got to like wrap the battery with tape to make it snug. And then sometimes it doesn't always work when you hit the button. Just don't, man. Go buy something nice or go buy something cheap but nice. Anyway, I appreciate you guys watching. Hopefully it's a useful video. All of these will be my recommendations. Which is my favorite? Uh, this is my favorite just on principle. We didn't weigh this one. Um... It's a half ounce, guys. A half ounce. This one's, that's right, 0.9 ounce. I mean, this is a half ounce. You don't even know it's there. You clip it off like, you could actually get a clip like this for it. Get a carabiner, put it on this. And even if you don't have those clips on your pants, you can clip it to your your belt loop in the front. And I swear, you'll never even know this thing's there it's, but until you need it. Then all of a sudden, you can unclip it and you have a, a, a decent flashlight with some power that can actually light up the night. Don't go go get one. This is my favorite. This is my second favorite of all these lights. This is my third favorite for carry. Um, all in all, this is all this is definitely my favorite. But this would be my second favorite all in all because this Phoenix, it's just so bright and it's such high quality. You can feel it when you're holding it that it's quality. The beam is awesome on this thing. It's the perfect like mixture of spot and spread light. Um, I mean, if I know, if I have room in my pocket, I'm going to be going out somewhere. The battery, you'd think that this button would get set off. But if you press it, yeah, I guess it does work that way. But if you just hit it, it doesn't set it off. You have to actually hold it down to set it off. So it really doesn't go off in your pocket uh, ever that I can remember. 
Um, so really I recommend this light too, but it's expensive. It's $55. That's not exactly budget for me. A lot of guys will tell you, oh, that was a budget flashlight, budget EDC. People spend, people have too much money to throw around apparently. But yeah, I do love this light. But these three, I mean, for carrying out for carry, this is it. Notice all three of them are twist lights. They don't have buttons on them. They're not button switches. Yeah, I've had it happen too many times. Anyway, thanks for watching. Um, make sure you like this video. Uh, for some reason, uh, YouTube doesn't like prepper videos <laughs> and gear videos. They don't like people that, that, that review guns and knives. Whatever. You know, a bunch of pansies, I guess, out there complain about it. But like, like this video and subscribe. Like I said, I don't do a lot of videos, but when I do one, I guarantee it's going to be useful if you are a prepper or if you are an EDC person. If you like guns, knives, watches. Anyway, subscribe. Hit the, hit the notifica notification button. Otherwise, you're going to forget about me because I, I, I so rarely do videos. But that is going to change really soon. Really soon. Like in the next two months. Um, I'm going to set up a Patreon uh, and I'm going to, I'm going to get to it. I still, I have a ton of gear that I can review for you guys that I've been using for years or months that I know works that I know is budget and is not expensive. So yeah, you know, I'll keep you guys posted. Just make sure you subscribe and comment. If you guys, I'm, I'm a big fan of comments because clearly I don't know a lot. Um, I don't know everything anyway. And, uh, if you guys have a flashlight that's budget that you know is not a piece of turd, by all means, put a link in the um, in the comments, or at least, at least leave the name of the, of the the flashlight that you have that you like, and I'll definitely check it out. I'll probably end up buying it if you give it a good enough review. Anyway, thanks for watching. I'll check you out next time, and that's Prepper Life out.